What is valvular heart disease? The heart's four valves play a very important role in ensuring blood flows in the correct direction through the heart. The valves are the tricuspid valve, the pulmonary valve, the mitral valve, and the aortic valve. Valves at the entrance to the large chambers of the heart, the tricuspid and mitral valves, ensure that blood can flow only into the ventricles. The pulmonary and aortic valves allow blood to flow out of the ventricles and into the pulmonary artery and aorta. In patients with valvular heart disease, the damaged valve or valves affect the flow of blood. This can be in two ways. If a valve fails to close properly, it will allow blood to leak backwards. This is called valve regurgitation. For example, if the mitral valve leaks as the left ventricle contracts, instead of all the blood leaving the heart through the aortic valve, some will leak back into the left atrium. If this is severe enough, it can put a back pressure on the lungs. If a valve fails to open properly, it obstructs the flow of blood. This is called valve stenosis. For example, if the aortic valve becomes stenosed, the heart will need to pump harder to force the blood past the valve. This can cause the heart muscle to become thickened. Any of the valves can become regurgitant or stenosed, and both can put an additional strain on the heart. Although many patients have few or no symptoms, some patients develop breathlessness, chest pains, tiredness, dizziness, swelling of the legs. The symptoms of valvular heart disease will vary depending on which valve is affected. Even after a valve problem has been diagnosed, patients may go many years without developing any symptoms.